Let's swap CPUs and motherboards, really. This is the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. Eight cores, 16 threads, and has that oh-so-good gaming V-cache. So let's just take this off. Very nice. Now that's a lot of pins right there. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a little rough. So we're gonna protect those. I always like to keep these, so it just kinda goes right on there and snaps down. Now this motherboard is the MSI Meg X870E godlike. Yeah, it has pretty much all the features. So we're gonna open this right there and gently place it down. You just follow the notches right there. See the little arrow versus an arrow or triangle and there's a notch. Yeah, you can't really mess this up. Place it down and uh, hmm. Come on, you got it, there we go. And then hold on to this, put it back in the box. And when it comes to cooling it, just read the directions on whatever cooler you're using. This is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3, 360 millimeter AIO. This has a VRM fan as well, that attaches right there. And so I just have to remove these standard AMD AM5 brackets, because I don't need them for this. When it comes to thermal paste, I use Arctic MX6 for all of my builds. And uh, yeah, I just make sure that this is all everywhere. All right, that looks much better. Gotta wash my hands now. For this Arctic Liquid Freezer 3, first you make sure that these are nice and loosey-goosey, and then you put the cooler down. At that point, you just tighten everything together, all at once. Add on the magnetic VRM fan, and now it's just cable management, which is easy because it's on a wet bench. And we just plug in the ATX 3.1 cable into the NVIDIA RTX 5080, we heard the snap, triple check, quadruple check. Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. Flip the power switch in the back and hopes and prayers. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Now this is the MSI Meg X870E godlike motherboard in all of its glory. Nice. There's just something about this motherboard that makes me smile. And that's a wrap for today. It's not hard to change CPUs, change motherboards, just kind of take your time. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes and the more you understand how durable these PCs actually are. 